want less strain, more flow through your day? I was given some great advice about this a long time ago. I don't remember who said it, but it stuck with me and it stood the test of time for myself and my students. They said, when I get stuck or find myself straining too hard without getting traction, I probably either rushed, skipped, or overlooked a step. And even though it sometimes feels counterintuitive, especially if I'm on a deadline, I know now that it's usually true. I get further, faster, when I go back to complete the step before. Hi, I'm Errol Gonzalez. I've been empowering entrepreneurs to build profitable businesses by mastering their inner game through ancient Eastern practices since 2003. So I was thinking about this today, how there's three main categories of strain. That basically, with each category, the solution lies in self-connection. So first, there's physical strain. And physical strain gets released through movement and breath work, by releasing tension from your muscles and your joints, by circulating fresh energy through your meridian pathways, by strengthening your core to cultivate key energy. As key energy flows freely between your brain and body, it flows freely in your business and your daily life as well. My key energetics members often say they're amazed how cultivating key energy creates more ease in their life and business. Then there's also the emotional strain of developing new skills and habits to make your impact. Releasing emotional strain starts with getting clear and focused on what you want and your priorities by harnessing your mind and your energy to take decisive action. And this is important because many people make the mistake of waiting to have the confidence to move forward to new territory. They get caught in a cycle of fear, perfection, and procrastination, needing everything to be perfectly executed or aligned as they move forward. But confidence only comes from experience. Gathering courage and taking action to measure your results and develop your skills is what's required. As you take brave action, your brain verifies the results. And as you develop your skill, your confidence builds. And if you want to know more about this, see the links below, how to liberate yourself from fear and procrastination. Then there's spiritual strain, also called mental strain, and that's the strain of non-acceptance. So it's easy to get caught up in the could have and should have monologue of wishing people and situations were different than they are. Oddly, we generally don't see the roots of mental stress within ourselves. We're more likely to attribute the blame to others or situations we believe are outside our control. And especially when we layer it with our moral values of what's good or bad or right or wrong, then this falls into the category of conducting the same behavior over and over and expecting a different result. It's a kind of stubbornness. <laughs> it can foster instability quagmire productivity, and sabotage working relationships. So not surprising when you think about it, mental stress tends to rise up and haunt us in the quiet of the night. Mental stress is a spiritual issue. It's released. Actually, it gets dissolved through self-connection and the wisdom that comes from that self-connection that we all have within us in our brain. It involves grounding into the present moment and then going meta to see and accept people and circumstances as they are. So it's a paradox that the act of acceptance, not to be confused with apathy, brings the awareness we need to shift from fear-based reaction mode into a proactive state of calm and peaceful control. Meditation is great for this because it provides you with a meta viewpoint to see your emotional attachments and observe any hidden motivations and unrealistic expectations more objectively without getting stubborn, self-righteous, or sentimental. 
So the wisdom to know what, when, and how to accept frees your mind to shift out of the problem and into the solution objectively. Recalibrate to zero at will and relax into a more effective approach. Now I want to hear from you. Scroll down and leave me a comment. Tell me how you like to release stress and achieve flow state in your life and business. I read them all. And if you're watching this on YouTube, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to know more, check out the links below.